Side note, even to get to get to my service skills, and we've talked about this before, but for the new listeners that might might have not uh, heard that episode, I have pot and I don't smoke pot, so I got joints just in case someone wow. wants to fire up. Okay, it's it awesome. Okay, I have a question, a uh, service question. When you're having people over, um, should you already have food out when they walk through the door? Or once they're in and you take their coats off, do you then go and get and bring out the first crackers or charcuterie or whatever? Excellent question, and I'm glad you asked. Uh, I time it. Uh, so you don't want cheese sitting out sweating, right? <laughs> right. So... I kind of got a gauge of when that person's coming in, you know, they'll ring the the bell and and then and then the stuff will, will come out depending on the food. Uh, you know, if it's chips, I don't like to crack the bag an hour before they come over just because of freshness. But the chips are out with the bowl next to the bag, so it's a it's an open and pour. It's like I'm not searching for stuff. It's oh, it's okay. it, it happens nice. really quick, you know. Wow, so Okay, yeah. So they'll sit down and boom, a cheese plate's there and whatever they want is there within three to five minutes, okay? Because normally I'm the one in the kitchen while Lana is entertaining. It's like we're both never away from the guests. That's another thing that we like to do is you, you entertain, I will, I will get the food out. I don't want to leave them too, because you ever see two people in the kitchen, and then the people have to come to the kitchen, and there's really, you know, the, the, the people might be in the stove, and the refrigerator, they're pulling out stuff. Yeah. I like to do that unencumbered, and I like to have Lana, because that's what she's good at, just kind of uh, schmoozing the guests. Okay, because it is it is uh, natural, especially for Italians, like I migrate to the kitchen, not to help, just to bullshit with the person in there, you know, so... You're trying to keep uh, keep that separate. I like that. Yeah, uh, I'm, uh, not to help. I love that. Uh, we we got into that last. <laughs> did we get into that last week with the with the helping at my mother-in-law's? Yeah, did, yeah, yeah. Did I, mean, I, no, about, I don't think so. I, it, we didn't, we didn't we get into that. We talked about whole, clearing the table. Yeah, yeah, but your mother-in-law clearing yeah. the table. I shouldn't I shouldn't see anybody else's dishwasher. Did we talk about that? No, you shouldn't see anyone uh, else's dishwasher. This, I, I must have came up with this during the week. I never want to see the inside of your dishwasher. <laughs> Why, man? Huh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> the only dishwasher I should be pulling open and putting plates and glasses into is my own. I don't want to go to your house, rinse my plate, open up your dishwasher, but I don't want to see anybody else's dishwasher. Oh, because you're a guest, right? Is that what you say? Absolutely. Yeah, what am I doing? Why am I seeing the interior of your dishwasher right now? <laughs> this means I'm helping. I shouldn't even be sitting around the area that when you're cleaning this shit up. <laughs> right? You should be sending me to another room with a glass of brandy right now. <laughs> when I go to other people's house, it's like a restaurant. I don't want to see the breakdown in the back of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. It makes me feel like you want me to wrap it up. I don't like the pressure. I don't either. I don't either. I just see dishes going into a dishwasher and the and the sink.